You're watching the Weiss Channel. <clears throat> We're going to take a look at writing expressions. For example, write an expression for the operations described. All right. says add y and 10. Well, that's just gonna be y plus 10. That's it. You just turn the words into expressions, okay? Divide y by six. y divided by six, that's it. Okay, don't do any more, that is it. Raise Q to the 10th power. Hold on a second. Raise Q to the 10th power, Q to the 10th power. That's it. The difference of V and four. V minus four. Difference means minus, subtract, okay? The sum of P and Q. Sum means add P plus Q. There you go. That's it. Don't make your life difficult. <clears throat> Raise A to the fourth power, then add B to the result. Okay. A to the fourth power plus B. Done. Okay. Raise A to the eighth power, then subtract the result from B. If you're subtracting from B, that means B has to go first. So then you're subtracting A to the eighth power. That's how you raise A to the eighth power and then subtract from B, okay? Divide eight by five, then multiply P by the result, okay? Eight over five times P. That's it, okay. <clears throat> Subtract K from three, then multiply four by the result. So subtract K from three is gonna be three minus K. But to multiply four by the result means the whole thing gets multiplied by four. Got to use parentheses. Triple F then raise the result to the 10th power. Triple F, that means three Fs. The result to the 10th means the whole thing to the 10th. If I go without parentheses, then only F gets raised to the 10th. I need the three also to the 10th. Raise Z to the fourth power, then divide six by the result. 
be careful here. Divide six by the result. That means the six has to go on top. Then, then you divide by Z raised to the, okay? Z raised to the fourth power, then divide six by the result. Don't let these words confuse you, okay? Six gets divided by Z to the fourth. All right, subtract G from six, then add seven to the result, okay? Subtract Z, sorry, from eight. Z from, G from eight, so eight minus G. You could put this in parentheses and then add seven. You're gonna get the same answer with or without parentheses. You could leave it like this, or whenever you see results, the result, it helps to put it in parentheses. Eight minus G and plus seven. Multiply B by six, then add five to, re, to, the, to the result, okay? I'm gonna do six B, I could put that in parentheses, plus five. Whenever you see result, it's probably smartest to put that in parentheses. Okay. F decreased by the quotient of G and H. Okay. F decreased by, okay, minus. Quotient means divide G over H. There you go. Seven fewer than the difference of 10 and B. Okay, so let's first take the difference of 10 and B. 10 minus B. Seven fewer than that difference. Okay, that means minus seven. Done. Triple N, then multiply seven by the result, okay? Triple N, that means three Ns. Multiply seven by the result. I could do times seven, just hit a dot, put a dot, and then seven. All right, that works. Or I could put this in parentheses and put a seven here, either way. Add B to the quotient of six and nine, all right? Six over nine, so the quotient is divide. Then you're gonna add B. Just write what it says, just write what it says. Raise N to the ninth power, then find the sum of the result and M, all right? N to the ninth power, the result, then find the sum, sum means add of the result and M, that's it. N to the ninth plus M. Triple D then subtract six from the result. Triple D minus six. You want to put 3D in parentheses, you could do that. But since it's multiplied, you don't have to. Raise A to the second power, then multiply the result by B. A to the second power, multiply the result by B. You could just do times B. You do parentheses. B if you want, or you could do this, A squared, and you could just put B here, B times A squared, that works too, okay?
multiply the product of six and eight by M, okay? The product means multiply six times eight, multiply that by M. And I'm just gonna do times M. If you want, you could do parentheses times M, just like that, okay? Seven minus the difference of five and M. Seven minus the difference of five and M. Five minus M. Seven minus the difference of five and M. There you go. Multiply six by two, then divide R by the result. Uh, this gets funny again, right? Divide R by the result of six times two. Okay. You just gotta write what it says. Z less than the product of V I'm sorry, y and three, all right? The product of y and three, you can either do y times three or three y. That's y times three. Z less than that product is minus z. Okay, just write what it says. Add U and T, then double the result. Okay. U plus T. Double it means I got to multiply this by two. Put it in parentheses. Double it. Two times U plus T. Okay. Usually when you see result, you should probably put it in parentheses. Raise the quotient of G and F to the eighth power. The quotient means divide. G divided by F, the quotient of G and F raised to the eighth power. There you go. Okay. Now, what if we're solving? Okay. So here, we're going to solve the sum of 19 and a number is equal to 32. Sum of 19 and a number equals 32. So solve, I'm gonna minus 19 from both sides. Okay, and what do I get? I get 13n equals 13. All right. A number increased by 25 is 113. All right. A number. Whenever you see a number, right, n or x, whatever letter you want to use, n increased by 25 equals 113. How do I solve? Minus 25 to both sides. So what's 113 minus 25? 88. Okay. The difference between a number and 17, the difference between a number and 17, 10 minus 17 equals, is, is always means equals, right? Equals 31. So I'm gonna add 17 to both sides. What's 31 plus 17? 48. Okay. 
10 times the sum, 10 times the sum of half a number, half a number, and six equals 130. Okay. So I'm going to take, I'm going to distribute the 10. What's well, half of 10? Half of 10 is five. Five n plus, I'm going to do 10 times six. 10 times six is 60 equals 130. I'm going to minus 60 from both sides. I'm going to get 5n equals 70. I'm going to divide by 5. And I'm going to get n equals 14. OK. 2 thirds a number. Two thirds a number, two thirds n plus six equals 14. Okay, I'm gonna minus six from both sides. And I get two thirds n equals eight. So now I divide by two thirds, right? Eight divided by two thirds. I would use your desmos.com calculator and do eight divided by two thirds. And you get that fraction, uh, you use that fraction box on your desmos calculator. All right, eight divided by two thirds gives you 12. By the way, I'm just gonna come over here. Eight divided by two thirds. Let's recall that if you wanna do it by hand, remember keep change flip, you do eight times three over two. I'm gonna put eight over one, right? And I cancel, two goes into eight and two, two goes into two once, two goes into eight four times. And then four times three equals 12. Okay. The length of a rectangle is twice the width. Okay. So you got to draw a rectangle. What we're going to do is say the length is twice the width. We're going to call the width W. And we're not gonna call the length L. You gotta call the length 2W because the length is twice the width. So if this guy here is W, then this is also W. If this guy here is 2W, then this guy here is also 2W. So how many Ws do you have here? You have W plus 2W plus W plus 2W equals is the perimeter is 144. Perimeter means add all the sides, right? So you get 6w equals 144. Divide by 6. And 144 divided by 6 is 24. Okay. So pretty much just write what it says, okay? And then follow the directions. You've been watching the Weiss Channel. Make it a great day.